to be a good one here today. Okay, let this be a sphere. So inside this, let there be a cavity. Okay, there's a cavity. So let me give the number O1 and O2. So the center of this, let it be O1. Center of this cavity, let it be O2. I'll, I'll come to the question. Let, let me just explain the basic concept involved. What are What is O2? Center of cavity. So cavity will give some, we will shade it. What is there? I, I want the field. <coughs> field at point P. Okay, let's start now. So electric field inside the cavity. Let, let rho be the density of the sphere. That this particular thing is a cavity. Yeah? This one is cavity. So I want the electric field strength at point P. At this particular point, the field strength has to be different. So what is the basically method like? Uh, what is the electric field strength inside? So whenever you get a cavity like this, so what, what we are supposed to assume? We should assume that this particular sphere with cavity it is equal to a sphere without cavity plus You know, let's take the other one. I'll decrease the shape. I don't have further space to the right. Equal to then <coughs> other one is the cavity that one. So what I assume is let this be sphere of radius A, the radius of cavity, let it be B. Let, let it be A, this is over. So where the point P, point P will come here, no? How the field at this particular point should be in this direction. So you're going to draw a vector E1 bar. Now th this is the point O2. And this is that point P where we are finding out the electric field strength. So this is a cavity of negative density. This will be of positive density. When you bring this blue color one, this cavity, when you place it here, so it will cancel out. We do get a cavity that one. So this is a sphere of radius A. <coughs> Just I diminished it for, for sake of space. I made it radius A a little bit less here. Now for negative charge particle, how the field should be, should be towards it. So e, the E bar will be directed in this direction, E2. So let's first calculate what is E1 bar. E1 bar, can you remember formula? Rho O1 P bar or I'll, I'll write equation, only, only OP I'll write it first. O1 P by 3 epsilon naught. Can you remember rho R by 3 epsilon naught? 
if you have information charge, you can write it as kq small r by r cube that one. So since we have information of density, no, in terms of density, what is the electric field inside this sphere? Uniformly charged this sphere. If you know density, there's a formula. What is O and P? The distance here. So in the vector form, it will be this much. It should be directed along O and P bar only. Come for E2. So what is E2? You can write it as rho 3F. Don't, don't put again negative sign. Only that negative sign you have taken care by assuming E2 bar towards O2 that one. There's a cavity here. There's a sphere without cavity. This is sphere with cavity. So what is E2? E2 should be equal to rho PO2 bar. And then what is the resultant E bar? The resultant E bar at this particular point is what we are supposed to calculate. No? So they should be equal to sum of these two vectors. The total EP bar should be equal to E1 bar superposition principle. So E1 bar will be rho 3 F0 O P rho P O2 bar 3 F0. So this will become rho 3 F0 O1 P bar plus P O2 bar. Uh, is it any vector? Uh, do we get any vector here? This is O1 bar. Now I'll, I'll give that vector diagram. O1 bar, O2 bar, and, and this is what that P bar, no? So this was the vector E1 bar were like this. Or OP1 bar. Uh, then PO2 bar. So the resultant vector, how it should be known? Now the resultant vector is going to be somewhere like this. This will put it here. This is O1, O2 bar. No? So looking at the triangle, so what you can write finally here, this should be equal to rho 3 F0 O1, O2 bar. And what, what, what can be that field will be uniform. And how it will be directed? The magnitude is equal to 3 rho by 3 F0 and the field will be directed along line burning the center of the sphere to center of cavity. So if I show the lines of force, so the lines of force depend, should be parallel to line O1, O2 bar. So I'll give one more <coughs> rough diagram. There's a the basic theory that is the, the just like a the theoretical idea before entering the problem. So if I draw one rough diagram, so how the field inside the cavity should be, this should be equal to So the cavity So how the field the field this is what O1 no? and this is O2 So how the resultant field should be directed inside the cavity it should be directed and it should be uniform Do remember, I'm giving enough. Uh, uh, there's a diagram. Uh, where, where is that O2? O2 is here. Huh? Okay, got this. So it will be along line joining O1, O2. So this was having radius. So there's a basic idea this one. So always uh, the the direction of E bar should be will be along line joining the center of the sphere to center of cavity. So this is what the background, now, now I'm going to take help of this information to enter into the problem. Okay, this one. Okay, let's come to the, <coughs> just see once. So whenever cavity comes, you, you can use this particular method. How to calculate potential? Again, the same superposition principle. Now in the in this diagram, calculate potential. What is the potential inside the solid sphere? You know, the sphere. Then in, again, in this second diagram, so calculate the potential at point P due to minus density uh, where the sphere is having uh, in, in the cavity. In the cavity, you calculate. Then add up 
v equal to v1 plus v2 you'll get the potential anywhere outside inside anywhere you can determine uh, let's uh, there's a question asked for us now in the figure shown uh, spheres s1 s2 s3 have radii r 2r r by 2 and r by 4 I think the diagram is same. Huh? Keep like this. So, uh, where is where is that R? Uh, uh, this R R is this one. This is R. This will be R by two, and th this particular thing is R by four. So, what to do now? There was only one sphere cavity. No, uh, are they cavity? That yellow color is it cavity? No, it's a sphere of radius two rho. Uh, what about this? Uh, like a green color one is a sphere of radius four rho. So where do they are present? They are present here like this. So what method we have to means a part of sphere is having density rho. Some part of some volume of sphere is having density two rho. Some part of sphere is having density four rho. So what is the basic uh, uh, method we have to apply? That's the same thing. The same thing like in all three rho. So what is the field? Uh, first we'll go for find the electric field at point A. It additions r by eight from C three on the line joining C two and C three. Line joining C two and C three. It additions r by eight. So from C three to that additions r by eight. So I'll I'll draw the diagram. I'll draw the diagram. Okay, no. This is the C one. One more <coughs> spear we have to draw, no. I'll draw that yellow color one. No? It will be easier. Okay, so now uh, this is the two diagram. So this is the point C one. You take it. So one more is there, no? The green color one. C three will come. Okay, we got it. Okay, let's indicate all the points here. So this is the C one. This is C one. This is C two. This is C three, and and this is the point. So first, uh, due to this pair row, this will be L L. This will be two row. At least now, if you are able to get the diagram, I think it will be very easy for you. Now, now you can straight away we can write equation. And what is the <coughs> uh, electric field at point P? Looking at this diagram, you you come for the top diagram, no? Rho r by three epsilon naught, no? We do right, and it's along line joining C one C two. So first field at point A, the resultant field at point A, due to one will calculate E one, due to first pair, will be should be equal to rho. C one C two by three F one naught. What is the value of C one C two? Should be cot R by two because this is radius R. 
Okay, let me check the data once. Uh, radius r by four, r by four. So this should be the radius of how much? R by two. So this C one C two. What shall I write? Equal to. So this should be equal to rho three epsilon naught C one C two should be equal to R by two. No. What is the direction? Just put like this here. So this should be equal to how much? No. Rho R by six epsilon naught. Come for similarly. At point A, I want the field due to second sphere. What is the density of this two rho? Three epsilon naught. Keep as it is. So, in in what direction should be? It should be along line joining C two C three. Now, forget about the big sphere. Now, look at only the C two and C three. Like, a, what is the C three now? So, the C three, the sphere of radius r by four of density four rho will become like cavity in the sphere of density two rho. So, this you substitute now two rho three epsilon naught. What is the distance C two C three should be cot r by four. Right, R by four. What is the direction of this? It should be in this direction. Okay, now come for E three. What is the density of this? Forget about all. Only look at the sphere of radius density four rho and radius R by four. So the density is four rho, three epsilon naught. Uh, then what is the distance? How it should be? It should be along y axis. No, rho R by epsilon naught. So what is the distance C three A? You write like this. So four rho three epsilon naught. Uh, what is the value of C three A? R by eight is telling. Is asking resultant field. For that, what I should do to get the resultant field? To get the resultant field, what I should do here? Yeah? The resultant field is given by E one plus. E two plus the vector form. So look at all this. Uh, th this is the towards side. This is along x axis. No, even <coughs> whether these two different. So the resultant it should be equal to. Uh, we'll do one thing. So for the simplification is needed. No, F few more steps are needed. This should be equal to rho r by six epsilon naught. It'll be directed like this. Then this will be four. This will be rho. Just wait. I'm not getting the window. Okay, now uh, th these are the values. No, what we have. 